creating a simple rectangle is boring, right? How about rectangles that you can convert into rounded rectangles? Or rectangles that you can convert into rounded rectangles with the varying corner radius values and styles? Let me explain. Grab a rectangle and head over to the context toolbar. When you click on the corner option, you can choose from different corner styles. A simple rectangle has no style applied, but as soon as you change it to any of the options available, the corners will look differently and the rectangle won't be a regular rectangle anymore. Changing the roundness value will make the corners rounded more or less and by default the roundness values are set to percentages. This will scale the corners roundness proportionately to any change in the rectangle's size. However, if you want, you can change the values to pixels simply by checking the absolute size option. The absolute size value for the rounded corners, although being displayed in pixels, can be set as other units. For instance, you can type in 2 millimeters to let designer recalculate the value and set the roundness in pixels. Unchecking the single radius option will let you control each corner separately. The context toolbar will allow you to change the style and size of each corner individually. If you want, you can make the top left corner rounded, the top right corner straight, the bottom left corner concave and the bottom right cut out. Notice that these are all dynamic effects. You can change them whenever you need to. Changing the corners, styles and sizes can ultimately turn a rectangle into a rounded rectangle. However, if you need a separate tool for creating rounded rectangles, you will find it in the tools panel. Creating a rounded rectangle is a straightforward process that works the same as creating a simple rectangle. Press and hold on the shift key to constrain the proportions and press and hold down the control key to start creating the shape from the center point. You can customize the corner's style and size in the context toolbar if you wish so. What about the ellipse tool? If you select an ellipse, you can quickly cut a hole inside of it simply by pressing the convert to donut option in the context toolbar. The options you can set to customize the donut shape will allow you to change the size of the hole. Smaller hole radius create a smaller hole inside the ellipse. And you can also change the start and angle, which will affect the position of the start endpoints relative to 360 degrees. You can also change an ellipse into a pie shape simply by selecting one and clicking the Convert to Pi button in the Context toolbar. You will also get the same customization options as with the donut shape. As you can see, the rectangle and ellipse tools are more powerful than their humble appearance would suggest, but uh, there are many more tools creating custom shapes, so let's take a look at them next.